Hi guys, I'm back. I'm back. Diary Shit Zone is back. Channel, and this is guess what? Bato Sera is back. Bato Sera is back. The 5.22 version is back. This is the release candidate zero. So the first release candidate we can we can consider this a stable version, almost stable. The, if uh, bugs, uh, serious bugs don't pop out, this will be the the final release. Maybe they could could release another release candidate. We'll see. But the version is stable. But I have already tested the beta three. The beta three, and so compared to beta three, what is changed? Not too much, uh, to be honest. Uh, more or less, uh, the features are the same. So the big thing of uh, the the theme you you see is a custom theme by Darius Zone and based on the Super Sweet by Dwayne Hart. This is not the theme you um, you got with the image. I, just remember the Battlesera theme cannot use anymore the uh, recall box theme, the next theme, because it is licensed, so they could not, can't use this anymore. So they use the carbon theme as default. But you can, I show you again, you can. You can download a, a set of themes from System Settings, Updates, Themes. You can update those themes, Alec Fuel, Artbook, Fundamental, Simple and Zoid. You can download from the repository this theme. And you can also install all emulation station theme because this image is compatible with the emulation station themes. The, 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 the custom theme I show you right now is in fact an emulation station theme. So there is not the need to port to Batosfera because Batosfera can read those theme. Another big feature, the Video snaps, yes, the video snaps are here. The Battle Sera finally has have video snaps like RetroPie. So another big feature of this release, this is the, the the image, the test image I I've done for the for the purpose of the Amiga. I set just some video just to show you how it works, how it works. So you you see the the snap box. Of course you have to scrape scrape all the hard box because there's not uh, by default there, there's some uh, games uh, without license just to to show. But you have to uh, add to install your personal backups and then you have to add scrape your art box and videos when always is set you see the art box and then you see the video okay this is amiga cd32 and i added a lot of videos even here to show how it works everything going well i'm I think uh, I noticed that is that there is not conflicts with uh, between video and audio. The, the, this image also have a background music player, but the audio does not conflict with the video. And you can also disable the from some settings. You can disable or enable the sound for the video and for the background music, but there is not. Uh, Conflict. This is very good. Okay. 
the M strap I had RST and there's a lot of team uh, the system support and other new things a feature of these images uh, GX 4000 the console the Amstrad console uh, it uh, has a um, was uh, a little um, lifespan it was uh, an attempt attempt <laughs> An effort for Amstrad to, to strike the console market, and so you, I showed you just uh, this new system uh, is a standalone. So you have the Amstrad CPC and the GX, and this is Pro Tennis Tour. These games are console console type game so they they not use a keyboard okay it's very like a console type experience out let's move on I want to show some games barbarian you can play this game all with the uh, control and the retro pad. You want a warrior or you want uh, the princess? Remember, the, uh, since the emulator is the same, you can also uh, activate the virtual keyboard. It's useless in that case, but. The emulator, the Caprice 32 is the same, so... And uh, I think... Uh, uh, I think I appreciated this, the fact uh, the GX4000 games runs very well on Bathosera. Very, they are fluid, the, 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 the hardware is totally different and Amstrad is uh, based on the architecture, superior architecture than the Amstrad CPC so there are uh, more taxing on the on the CPU but the, um, uh, the Raspberry Pi, uh, this test is made on the Pi 3B plus 3B plus This is Pang. Actually, it's worked well. Pang has the graphic incredible for an Amstrad. It's a very similar to Arcade. I'm very happy there's this, this platform on the Bathosera. It's not so easy to set on other front end, so then you have all set by the fall here, fantastic, no? But uh, move on, let's see another platform. Um, um, like I said uh, before, the Commodore 64 still have the normal VICE emulator and not the Libertro VICE. But there's some difference on this release, i show you. You already saw my video where uh, I I show how to map uh, the keyboard buttons on the controller. That's not cannot be made on the normal vice, but the battle but the battle server team has made a custom set on the vice controller so you can make the, the roll the epic roll with the y button fantastic so it's, a, it's not the same at having having the libretto version of uh, vice but it's something i can roll and i'm happy i can roll without to strike a keyboard but uh, i still i still die this is so sad. Okay, forget the overlays because you can, you cannot 
load overlays and bezels on the normal vice but and this is the device is a very basic you cannot exit with the combination start select you have to press start then you have to go and quit and then strike the A button and you exit from the emulator okay and let's see Amiga Amiga is the probably one of the best expression of Amiga emulator aside aside uh, RetroPie and I'll show you why it's fantastic it's a direct book there's not the splash screen Amiberry logo there's not the boot text boot loading you you just go straight to the game 10 seconds of loading more or less and you are into the game fantastic let's see another game this is not a gameplay remember abandoned places is complicated yeah. 1000 miglia or in italia mille miglia le mille miglia and this is italian game by simul mondo simul mondo even that one start directly boot You never saw uh, an emulation, Amiga emulation of that level. There's not uh, disc swoop, the, the loadings are super fast. It's uh, even better than the, than the real thing. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, let's see another thing. This blue pie, dark pie. This is another team I made. Custom theme, or there's the theme you can fundamental you can download from the repository. And you remember that Aristi Aristi has the the Liberto version of the. Um, Atari so very good Come on, six, four. I already saw that the Nintendo Super Nintendo Amiga CD let's try Amiga CD Alien Breed 3D And this is Alien Breed 3D. It's uh, very inspired by Doom. You can, you can tell. Okay. So, final attacks. On the Bato Serra 5.22, the um, release candidate. So the only thing I noticed this is a bug, probably is the fact, and the shaders enabled from the menu does not work. The retro and the scan license doesn't work. There, there's some little bug, but um, no big deal. And remember this uh, this uh, front end uh, also have uh, the the bezel the bezel installed by the full called uh, decoration and this decoration has a, a, a cool effect I, I could I could show so decoration auto okay let's see let's see decoration in action with uh, Super Nintendo 
Yes, I want to show you the, the fantastic work by the guys of... Uh, this uh, overlays has a nice effect which uh, turned the blacks into grey to emulate a CRT type monitor. It's very realistic. This is work better with the shaders, but the scan lines, but they not work. Enable from the menu. Let's see if we can enable manual. Okay. Uh, oh my god, CRT. CRTPI is the best shader. Happy changes. Yes, you can apply the, the shaders from the retro art menu. You see, the shader plus the screen, your type screen, is very, very realistic. Very, very old monitor. Okay. Unfortunately, you cannot enable from the menu because there is a bug about that. The guys, the Batosera guys, will fix that. so good oh and die strange and die so this is the the only thing i noticed um, on this uh, release, release candidate i'm still disappointed for the fact uh, the commodore 64 doesn't have the libretto emulator but i like uh, how the the guys set the the normal vice to to play similar to a console with a second button mapped the, 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 the space bar space bar is mapped on the Y button so I like that thing it's a very great front end the videos the, all this feature the emulation station compatibility is a uh, it's very great to see uh, where these guys these uh, folks uh, will go with the this front end so we'll, we'll wait for the final stable version of this uh, front end and the future is bright because they they go very serious with this project and i'm happy so i've been said thanks for watching don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe to channel and support the Darius zone channel Thank you very much and bye-bye.